I actually went to kindergarten here at Church of the Palms and I looked back in a photo album and that was in 1962. And so I was looking at the sign for the tree and it says it was probably sprouted around 1810. So when I got to Church of the Palms, it was already 150 years old. The tree, it was actually in the back of the church and it was not the honored tree that it is today. It was just in the backyard as a tree. And we had a tire swing that hung from the tree. And you can imagine not much grass in Florida grows under an oak tree. So it was sandy and dirty and we would just get filthy playing there when we, when we went to school. I was brought to meet this tree for the first time last year. So that was my first initial evaluation of her. Um, yes, I say her because of her curves. This is a Corcus virginiana, which is a live oak, well known in Florida. They're magnificent trees. Their canopy span can go out at least 180 feet wide in span. Heights exceed over 50 feet. They're more of a decurrent growth tree, so more of a canopy tree, if you will, as their species profile. We estimate the tree to be at least 1810 from when it was planted. So without completely dissecting the tree, which obviously nobody wants to do, um, you know, we could look at resistograph or tomography to internally detect uh, the internal of the tree. As humans, we don't like a lot of stress, um, and neither does trees. Um, pruning can be a stress, so we want to make sure that we're not pruning too much during one pruning cycle. As a tree gets older, we want to refrain from doing that on an annual basis. And maybe that basis, depending on uh, where that tree is at in its current health, may be every five plus years. The draw would be God's beauty, right? I mean, He's created these magnificent trees for us to enjoy and we can't buy back the time how long it took to get this tree to where it is now. It's not just a tree and it's not just a growing living thing. Uh, this is, it's part of our memorial garden. The fact that we consciously built all of our church buildings around it, so it is the focal point. And I guess that's sort of a chicken and the egg thing. Did, the, did honoring the tree come first or did we build our buildings and realize, hey, this is a great looking tree. I, I don't know which one came first. It is such a grand looking tree.